Hello, today we will learn scanner class for input taking in Java. How we can take input using scanner class in Java that we will learn today. So to use scanner class we have to import util package that we know. So how we will import? So we will write import java.util dot star semicolon just starting the program. And inside main function we have to write scanner sc dot equals to new scanner system dot in that we have to write under main function okay this sc is our object sc is our object you can write anything instead of sc so uh, important functions we have to see we have to follow this important function we have to use like for integer next int for double next double float next float for string next or next line and for character next dot caret zero okay so these are the functions now we will do a program so our class name is demo now i'm typing import java dot util dot star semicolon then class name class demo one that is our class name next void main then we will write that scanner class i told earlier that after void main we will write that scanner class function object we will create scanner is equals to new scanner system dot in semicolon now system dot out dot println we will take enter input from the user enter an integer value so for integer we are having function that is integer int i equals to sc dot next int we know that already i have told you system dot out dot print ln next we will take a double value a double value sc dot next double now no need to write uh, more than one time if same thing is there you can copy also here copy option is there so I am copying and pasting here. So just I am changing the things. Instead of double, I am writing float. F equals to sc dot next float. Similarly, character c equals to sc dot next. Then dot caret zero. Then we will take its string value string s equals to sc dot next line next line for string but later i will tell you something uh, instead of next line we can take here next i will take why i will have to take i will tell you later little bit problem occurs sometime so that time you can change that instead of next line you can take next only so now we will print all the things same copy paste control c and control v also you can use control c for copy control v for paste i have done that only one by one i'm printing everything c that is character obviously now string now I will compile it you see compilation is done now I will create object and then I will run the program I will enter some values 56 5768.98 for float 6.76 a character and string computer you see you got the result everything is clear but I have done something extra in a program before uh, running this program I am showing you what I have done you see here here I have changed next line instead of next line I have done next simple next you can write next line also but what will happen I am telling you I am showing you now now compile it 
if you will compile nothing will happen just now print also is yes, we are going to print c1 string second value c1 but what will happen now i am showing you compilation error nothing is there I am entering integer values, double values, these things I am entering, but it will not show you properly the string second value, it will not take input that is the problem. So, that time we can take only next, but next line also we can use when I am showing you now. There you see here, nothing is there, it, it did not take also second value. Now, I am showing you how we can use next line. Now I am using now multi line command comment sorry I am only keeping the second string taking that C1 I am taking that one I will take and I will print also so I am doing that save now I am running this now I am taking a string a sentence with space it will print the result wait uh, some problem is there yeah see it is coming okay so like this we can use scanner class for taking input in a program either you are taking integer or float character whatever you are taking you can use a scanner class it is very easy instead of buffer reader in next video i will create how to take input using buffer reader thank you